Hello. Um, unfortunately, uh, there were technical difficulties, as you can see here. The game froze for a little while, and that meant that it basically the audio didn't work properly from this point on. Um, engine is saying, uh, give the crystals to me. So, yeah, there's no sound from the game, and I've switched over to post-commentary. I'm sorry about this. This is the best I can do. I'm not going to redo Cold Hard Crash just to get the commentary. Um, if it's unprofessional of me, well, you'll have to cope. But you do, you do still get to see the footage, and you do still get to hear me talking, which is hopefully good enough. So yeah, this is a this is a reasonably hard fight. I'm. It doesn't actually make a lot of sense. Engine wants you to give him all the crystals. There are still five crystals to be gathered, and then he tries to kill you. The game's already established that. Crash is the only one who can get all of the crystals, so it makes absolutely no sense for Cortex to want Engine to kill you when there are still five crystals to go. I'm not even sure why he wants Engine to get to Crash to give Engine all of the crystals now when there's only 20 of them. But Never mind, um, obviously Crash isn't just going to give Engine the crystals and then let Engine kill him. Um, obviously at this point, well, if, um, if Crash hadn't guessed it already, I think the fact that Engine has tried to kill him has, um, given him the clue that Dr. Cortex is lying to him. They seem to like the letter N, the uh, the game developers of uh, of this game. There's Engine, there's Neo Cortex, there's Nina Cortex, there's Entropy. Some of those characters don't appear in this game. There's N Bryo as well. Uh, so I don't know why they just like N. Um, so yeah, you have to defeat him a little bit at a time. Um, quite a fun boss fight, so first you need to destroy the arms and then these, uh, these missile bits. Uh, I really like how you can, uh, how you can see that the earth there, uh, it's, it's got this sort of view screen, I guess. I think that looks cool. Things actually get more sort of futuristic at this point because Crash leaves the island in the final uh, warp room and goes on to Cortex's space station. Um, I assume that's where it's being transported to now. Uh, I don't... There's not a lot else for me to say at this point. I'm, I'm doing my best to... To give you something to listen to. Actually, I now have two masks, but even so, this this I don't normally make it uh, this far on my first try against this boss. I think it helps that I played it before and I already know what's going on. I'm not at all surprised that he destroyed that. And there we go. These loading screens are actually quite annoying. I've I've cut out a lot of loading screen footage because they take a long time. So yes, I'm back on Cold Hard Crash now, and what you need to do is make sure you slow down enough so that you don't get trampled by that thing. But you do manage to hit that box, that uh, exclamation mark box, because. There were some boxes in a second that were just an outline and they're not properly filled in. That's not them um, until you've gotten that. And um, obviously it's easy to miss the exclamation box at the end and quite easy to uh, die on your way back here. And uh, going back to the beginning again is the only way. 
to get all of the boxes. I discovered that actually it's perfectly fine for you to die after you've um you've gone through the uh the this this death route. That that crash box there, that that extra life is the box that's being filled in. So yeah, um the death route's still there if you die at this point. I thought there wasn't. And uh that's quite helpful because it means if you miss the exclamation box you can just restart from there and this is a bit of a level that we haven't seen yet I actually quite like cold hard crash I mean getting the all of the boxes is a massive pain I'm not willing to redo it just so we get sound sorry but um, it is actually, there's some very inventive level design here, I think, and, uh, music's always nice on these snowy levels, so. Somehow I ended up with still having two masks left after the death route. I'm gazing a lot of uh, random animal cruelty here, but to be fair, the hedgehog was trying to kill me, and um, that's not a sentence I get to say very often. <laughs> really not a lot else to say at this point. I don't know why they've done it this way with with having to get all these hit boxes, uh, uh, exclamation mark boxes. Perhaps they're hoping that you won't be able to spot them. Sometimes actually I've thought that I've done it right and done the death route right and I somehow end up missing exactly one box anyway on this level. This This didn't happen this time but it is very annoying when that happens. I don't know what's one I keep on missing. The one on the bonus round, actually, I think I commented on that last time, but now I'm 100% certain they've changed that because on the original version of uh, Cortex Strikes Back, it was hidden. Um, you couldn't see it at the top of the screen. Uh, so maybe that's the one I kept on missing. I'm not sure. I know I'm talking a lot, it's because uh, I don't want you to get bored with the lack of sound. So yes, uh, it took me quite a while. I know the episode's short, but in total it took me a long time. But there we go, with uh, this warp room finished. And uh, there's not much else to say, except I'll see you in the next episode, hopefully with the sound working properly.